Hey guys, another update. Today I'm gonna talk about, well, reworked movement, um, some bugs, I guess I'll skip that, and uh, cave. About the movement, I have uh, reworked the collision detection system again. Now it's, uh, you can no longer cheat your way through walls pretty much. Um, you are, well, the, the collision detection system no longer works with uh, points, it works with rectangles and it checks if they intersect. So let's say if I were to get closer to this uh, object, uh, my, my collision rectangle on the character is half its size and it's pretty much the bottom square of my character. It's bottom square of my character because uh, you want your character to be displayed a little bit over the, the, the object just to imitate that uh, you are actually closer to the camera. Um, the, the rest is pretty simple, you just need to figure out how to let the character like slide along the side of the obstacle and that's done by blocking like separate um, coordinates. So if I were to go to the right only, I'm blocking the X coordinate. But if I were to press uh, W, W or, or S, um, I'm still able to slide because those calculations are based on the on the direction and uh, also on the on the combination. Uh, there's uh, there's another uh, thing I wanted to talk about, but I'm gonna skip it. <laughs> I'm getting super tired. Uh, I wanna go to bed early. Well, early, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna skip bugs as well. I'm just gonna mention that uh, each update has a um, bunch of bug fixes. I don't mention them, but they are there. And they are part of the development. I usually go back and check both the code for some easy refactoring that can make the code more readable and uh, sometimes I even increase the, the performance just by uh, looking at the code. I mean looking and then fixing some stuff. Uh, like with uh, movement I have both improved the uh, performance and uh, I have fixed a bug when I'm traversing through instances, which is uh, moving the um, character location, uh, there was a bug that would uh, get me stuck in between and it would pretty much cause a crash of the game. It wouldn't crash the game, but it would prevent you from playing. Um, the problem was that I was checking if the next move is valid, even though if I wasn't, when I wasn't moving. Um, it wasn't really costly, but um, it is a nice uh, thing to fix. All right, uh, cave. I've already been inside. Uh, graphics are still in in development, I guess. <laughs> um, some, well, most of the stuff are placeholders just for me to see uh, what's going on. So, the the inside is pretty small. Uh, it's randomly generated though, it's uh, both uh, the width and height is uh, randomly generated. I can pretty much make it much larger or much smaller if I want to. The path is uh, randomly generated as well. Uh, those E's mean that this uh, grey bluish area, those are walls and you cannot go through walls of course. Um, those E's means mean that the wall is exposed, so if there was an or vein, you'll be able to see the or vein on that tile. Um, there's gonna be darkness in caves, probably. I'm still I'm still thinking about that, but um, right now the last thing I've done was uh, implement an update system that can. Uh, create those, uh, set up those walls properly, so some will be exposed, some will be not exposed, and uh, if you want to check for veins, you'll have to mine through or check um, more tiles. 
it's probably a good idea to start mining where you can see a vein but you can also like free mine or just yeah the usual from minecraft those patterns that you use to check the all, all the tiles to make sure that you have mined out everything you could also this uh, place at the end this little slightly bigger place uh, it can be much bigger than this this is just another random thingy um, it's gonna contain animals well uh, wild animals like an angry bear or um, wolves or even monsters I guess I'm still thinking about that um, but uh, you'll be able if you clear those you'll be able to reach a treasure possibly uh, there might be no treasure if the difficulty is too low but there even might be an NPC if uh, the difficulty is high enough now NPCs are something I want to add into the game so desperately but it's still not the the right time to add them but yeah this is the way you're gonna be able to save them one of the ways um, you'll be able to recruit them later on probably um, also there might be treasure like gold leather armor you can find a skeleton that's gonna be pointing a middle finger to you because you got unlucky and there's no loot but uh, that's for the future right now I'm trying to uh, improve the random generation of the path also of the final area I'm still thinking about the size or dimensions of the uh, cave system and I'm still missing a lot of uh, graphical stuff so I can replace the, those placeholders uh, pretty much everything except for the path is a placeholder right now. Also, about the question in the comments about player interaction and how it's done. Um, it depends. Uh, one of the easiest interactions is uh, detecting if my character is close enough to something, uh, which can trigger actions like a rabbit running away or boar attacking you. Uh, that's pretty simple you just check the, the the distance between those objects each object has its location saved to it so you just calculate the distance that's the simplest interaction there is in the game I, I believe um, the next one well the major one is uh, just right, right clicking stuff or using stuff from your backpack which is similar but not the same um, there are two uh, systems I use one of them is for the background so if I were to click on the door um, right clicking would end up in the same method as if I were to right click the tree or, or whatever and uh, that's simple kinda use action I guess well, I got a class where all the actions are, every action has its own method, but there's like one big method before that, that uh, decides which action was uh, triggered and uh, where it's gonna go, which method is gonna be used. Um, you need to translate your mouse pointer location depending on if you're using the, the backpack which is pretty simple because you don't have to translate um, the coordinates but the background is uh, kind of weird because you're moving the camera with the character which requires um, translation coordinate translation for the background so each action needs to understand what's going on and there's also a priority based system so I guess you're pretty much trying to use the like the the object that's closest to the camera which uh, is gonna be the tree in this example and it's not gonna use the background tile behind the tree but that's uh, all about your priorities you can switch them up uh, it's pretty much a list of uh, if conditions so it's pretty simple to handle um, about those yeah, it's it's kind of a broad question. I don't know how to handle it. 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, leave it there. If you got uh, more, more questions, feel free to ask them. I'll try to cover them in later updates. I guess I could talk about the progress bar as well. Um, that was too fast. If I were to click the rock, um, it's uh, it detects my click. It detects that I have clicked on the rock, and that's pretty simple. I can detect any object that I have clicked on. You can see that uh, this part of the cave is not uh, functioning. This part is, um, but uh, you just uh, search for an object that's close to your mouse point pointer location. Of course you need to translate that location so we can find the object in the object list. And then... Ah, uh, it's getting dark. Damn. Um, I need to speak faster. Uh, then you can decide what actions are available for that object. Some objects can have multiple actions. Some tiles can have multiple actions. Uh, you need to restrict them prefer preferably by using tools um, like with water when you're drinking you can just um, empty hand it, right click water it's gonna drink now if you wanted to dig up uh, clay you need a shovel which I've shown before so yep um, <laughs> that's that and yeah about Backpack actions. I'm trying to avoid uh, using stuff from backpack, but uh, some objects have actions, and it's the same. It's just a um, different type of search. You search uh, in a different coordinate system, and you pretty much go through the backpack. Each slot has its own location and uh, and dimension. So you check if the click was made inside the slot and then you can just simply check if the slot has an item and if the item has an action uh, all right also before resolving an actions i try to include in the if conditions um, stuff like let's say if i were to use the water and i didn't have a shovel uh, it's gonna allow me only to drink the water it's not gonna like let the actions play out and then after that check if uh, you're actually able to do it or not. I try to decide beforehand in the like branching method. All right, it's getting dark. Um, I should really go to bed. In real life, actually, I haven't been sleeping. I don't know when I was uh, sleeping last time. Oh yeah, I should say, say goodbye. Um, <laughs> see, see you guys next time.